failed over and over and over and over and over and over again, making lures, 3D printed, designing lures, whatever. I failed so much that I was able to create this entire panel, four foot by four foot, of failed molds and lures. And I didn't even use them all. I still have like half of a bin. Probably I can make two or three more of these, which I'm gonna do. But that represents two plus years of failing, just over and over again, with kind of very few actual successes in the middle there. And that really represents my journey from just figuring out like how to use fusion to figuring out how to design lures to then figuring out all the ins and outs of molding and, and soft plastic injection molding and all that kind of stuff. Like that's a lot of friggin' failure. It's a lot of friggin' resin. I think I have gone through close to 65, maybe 70 kilograms of Soritec Sculpt resin. There's some clear back there, but mostly it's the Sculpt gray stuff. Buy it in the five gallon jugs, two at a time. 100 and no, it's 320 bucks a pop. And I keep going through it because I keep messing up. So I created this monument to failure. One, to remind myself to stay humble. And two, to make sure that everybody sees this, right? I failed over and over again. I get these messages all the time from people that are like, hey, you make this look so easy. I've been trying for a week and I haven't been able to do anything yet. I can't get this to print. I can't get this tail to look right. I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, guess what? I couldn't either. I couldn't do anything for six months at least. I was going back and looking through some of my old fusion projects and I mean, look at this piece of crap. Like, what is that? That's terrible. And these are the ones I thought were even good enough to save. There's so many times that I'd open up fusion, start working on something, spend three hours on it and just like be Dude, I'm out. Like, just don't even save it and delete and run away and cry for a while. I get it, dude. I make it look easy because I make videos on YouTube that get edited by a very good editor, right? You don't see the hours of frustration I spend trying to get Fusion to do what I want and not being able to figure it out. It's got some weird thing that it doesn't like today, crashes on me and loses like some work. Dude. I really made Fusion mad now. You don't see like all the molds that even failed to print properly because I didn't set something up right or like, you know, whatever. Genies came in in the middle of the night and messed something up. You would be bored to tears if I sat down in front of the computer and showed you all the times that I screwed up and had to start over again. Like maybe I'll include some more screw ups in the future. But really, like I produce videos on YouTube to try to teach you guys what I know as quickly as possible, not to show you how much I screw up. That's not fun. So I started this channel to help you guys fail less, not not fail at all, right? You're gonna fail. I made this for you to fail less. I created my Patreon group to help people be able to get like, hey, this is a known good model so I can print it out on my printer to make sure all that stuff works. But you're still gonna fail. You're still gonna fail sometimes. It's totally cool. What we're doing here is pretty hard and a fairly rare skill. I was talking to a guy who emailed me who does low pressure mold design. So if you ever seen those like USB uh, cables or any cable really that has that kind of soft molded pressure relief kind of piece, it's over molded onto that part. Like that's what that guy does. And you know, I was like, dude, this guy must know everything, right? He's been doing it for years at a company. And he's like, hey, you're pretty good, dude. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? It's like, there's not a lot of people that know this stuff, how to produce molds. There's few people that know how to actually design fishing lures that track right and have the action you want. So when you combine those two things together, you're in a pretty rare crowd, right? There is no degree that teaches you how to make molds that I'm aware of and that this guy was aware of, right? Like it's a tool and die is what, what it's called, right? Um, in the industry. And uh, you know, people learn that on the job. Like that's the only way they learn it. You know, they go to work at a tool and die shop and someone who's there who's already learned it teaches them. Like that's the only way that this stuff has been taught traditionally. So the fact that you're even in there trying, man, like that's great. Don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. It's going to be tough. You're going to have failures. You're going to have stuff that comes out all wonky. You're going to have a good design for a mold that gets ruined because you have a bad 3D print. You're going to have a bad design and a lure that's not going to do what you want to do. And you got to scrap, scrap it and start all over again. Shit happens, bro. Like it's going to happen. 
Keep working at it and you will get it. I promise you. I learned it. You can too. Take care. Thailand.